Guys, welcome to the J. Scott Outdoors podcast. I just uh, had a question come in from a podcast listener and friend. He said, okay, uh, I just called one into 40 yards and he came in totally silent. He's talking about calling in a bull elk. Uh, When I saw him, I went to draw and he saw me and took off. It didn't sound like he went too far, but I don't really know. Is there a situation where I can get him to come back? Or should I try for another elk? I'm just trying to kill any elk. Uh, What I would tell uh, this listener, uh, Andy, is that if you're just trying to kill any elk, once you have spooked an elk, uh, your chances of getting back on that bull or calling to that bull uh, or cow for that matter, you know, it becomes much harder. So what I would say is... Uh, He's hunting in over-the-counter Colorado where you can uh, shoot a bull or a cow. He's willing to shoot anything. I would give him the advice of to keep hunting, let that elk go, forget about him, uh, go find another one. Um, You know, if you're specifically hunting a bull and you spook him, then I would say leave him be, try and get somewhere where you can glass, try and get somewhere, leave, you know, back off the pressure I would say back out of there and get your scent um, out of there try and glass the bull up um, but give him some space and then let him try and fall back into his pattern uh, like where you had uh, you know previously got onto him as soon as you uh, push him again your chances of finding him go way way down him or her so you know, if, if you're just hunting any elk, go find another elk. Uh, if you're hunting a specific elk, give them some space. Maybe don't even go in there. Uh, give them a day off and then try and reestablish contact with them and, you know, stay after them. Uh, and, you know, the only way to kill a specific animal is to never hunt another animal. So once you determine that you're going to hunt one bull, then you have to hunt one bull. You can't go to other areas. You have to stay in the general area, stay up on the knobs where you can continually try and glass that particular bull up and remain focused on that bull. That might mean you look from a distance. That might mean you don't put a lot of pressure on him. You try and reestablish what his pattern is and figure out what he's doing let him get a little, feel a little more comfortable that, okay, that was just one encounter and nobody's around anymore. And then you can slip back in in those positions where uh, he might be vulnerable. So I uh, hope those tips help you. Uh, guys, uh, we're right uh, just about to kick off the Arizona season. Uh, the Utah season has been going on. The New Mexico season has been going on. Uh, and everybody's fired up about elk hunting. Uh, if you have any questions at all, you can send them to me at jscottoutdoors at gmail.com. Uh, you can send me any comments, questions, photos. Uh, you want me to field judge something, give my opinion, my two cents. I'm happy to help. Uh, you can follow along on my Instagram at jscottoutdoors. Uh, you can also go to my website, jscottoutdoors.com. And I want to thank the sponsors of my podcast Go Hunt Insider, who's doing a 30-day free trial. You can check the show notes. Use the J. Scott, uh, gohunt.com forward slash J. Scott, and you get uh, take advantage of that 30-day free trial. Kuyu Ultralight Hunting, which you can uh, link right off of uh, the show notes uh, and find out where the Kuyu Mobile Showroom is today. Uh, And Phone Scope, use the J. Scott 16 promo code. You're going to get a 10% discount. And the outdoorsmans.com use the J Scott promo code uh, and you're going to get a 10, 10% discount as well. Uh, guys, thanks for all your support. Keep the questions coming. I'll try and answer them as they come in.